the time he totaled 2,400 uh, in the 220-pound class, it was 14.8% ahead of the rest of the world. And I think that there's a strong possibility that it, that is unmatched in any athletic endeavor of any kind to be that far out in front of the rest of the pack. Uh, I'm going to say one more thing, and I want to. Uh, we're actually going to allow Ed to talk a little bit here. <laughs> oh no! But 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 I will say this: in 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 recent years, everyone has been dismissive of Ed's training in. By, by, by using this offhand remark that, oh, Eddie was just a genetic freak. Uh, there's really nothing to be learned from the way that he trained. The fact is, is that Cone's tactical strategies are, in my opinion, the most sophisticated ever devised, and the numbers speak for themselves. No one has come within a country mile of his 900 deadlift at 220, and I don't think it'll ever be exceeded. I'm going to be honest with you. So I think it would be interesting to talk a little bit about the training because no one talks yeah, about Cone's training. Everyone wants to talk about his accomplishments, but the training was so scientific, so spot on, and so straight ahead. Uh, the use of the straight line periodization, which has completely fallen out of favor. He, he could go through an entire 12-week training cycle without missing a single pre-planned lift. Now imagine you, you set up a training cycle 12, 12 weeks in advance. And make every single one of the projected uh, see, I, workouts. See, I thought that's the idea is to make all your lifts. Well, it is. Supposed to miss, yeah, but it? most people don't do that. I certainly as hell never yeah, pulled well, off a 12-week cycle without having to rewrite something. Where did that come from? Yes. Where, did your, where did your approach come from? Uh, I read all the magazines all the time and just made my own mistakes. And then you just, time after time after time, I just kind of made my body fit the routine and just busted my ass. That's pretty much all it is. And then mm -hmm. you just know how to pick your numbers and know, know your, your body positioning at all times in the, in the lifts and how it's supposed to feel, then you, you usually don't miss. It's also a complete lack of training ego. Uh, a realistic, a cold, realistic sense of your capacities. Could you explain for a little bit the straight line periodization in the classic 12-week cycle? Let's just start at a higher, higher reps. Typically, and then lower reps. No, in but the I, end. Mean, I mean for the for the first, you, you would it, classically it, it, break in. Yeah, how many? What weeks? do you mean by higher reps? How it's eights. It, Tens, eights, Tens. fives, triples, doubles. Yeah, that was all the, the progression. Way yeah, sometimes mm -hmm. my cycles would be longer. Usually a lot longer in the off season because I would make smaller jumps in the off season for strength gains over a longer period of time, and I'd take bigger jumps in the same type of routine, but with knee wraps and a suit. Or I usually didn't put the straps. So I could put them up myself, anyways, mm -hmm. um, till the end, and take bigger jumps to peak out. Now, but, now, but it was just typical yeah, high volume to yeah, and I would, I would high intensity. I would follow my assistance exercises the same way. I would I would train them the same way yeah. from close grips to inclines to behind the necks to bent over rows to whatever else. I would set them up the same way to mm -hmm. get stronger and peak out at the end the same. So everything did. The, the the thing is is you know you can you can handle that for so many years till you break down as with with any sport. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is to stay healthy. Right. And it, and it worked for a long, long time. Uh, also, the idea of to get as strong as possible in the off season with a minimum of gear. Yes. Yeah, and so, so you build up this awesome strength in the off season. So when you rolled into the, the to actual the, to competitive the 12 week season, cycle. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times the cycle <clears throat> wouldn't even be 12 weeks long because I wouldn't go back to doing too many reps because it would burn me out. Because right. my strength was so high at the time that if I went back to doing using the weight I could right. for the reps, I would just burn out immediately. Right. It would be too high intensity. So I'd usually start back off with fives for so many weeks oh, I see before I, in the squat and before I used knee wraps. Right. And then I'd work up to whatever with, 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 with just knee wraps. So talk to us about, I want, I, want, I want him to hone in on the five rep set. Yeah. This is a real A lot of that concept. was brought to me by Doug. That's the best strength gains you could get right. was sets of five. We thought the five was the best combination yes. between that's what we got Kirk on. Yes, indeed. Oh, when we changed Kirk around. We changed Kirk after he, he bombed at the Nationals programs. in Vegas. 
Yep. All of our programs are still based on fives. That's if you get away from your fives, you're getting away. The further away you get from fives, the further away you are from your strength base. And these programs that just emphasize single squats, like for Olympic weightlifting, single squats, single squats. If you don't go into that pretty strong, you're not going to hold it. Yeah, on you're singles. not going to develop that much more strength because no. you're not doing the, the same work. Right. Well, you, oh, didn't, you didn't do any singles anyway. No, not really. Yeah. Just, just at the meet. An occasional miss. That's what the of a double. Yeah. But very. Not rare. really. Not really. I didn't miss. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but again, the five reps. It is interesting because. John McCollum stressed the five rep set and his keys to strength. Uh, Cassidy stressed it to us. So when, when I came in contact with Ed and he's telling me that, you know, it's the five and Doug's saying it's the five, it was like, oh, okay, all these great minds are saying star, star. Based all of our training on fives. On the five. Mark Berry back in the 30s yep. was probably the first guy to codify that is fives are the the basis of this what was your